Hi guys, welcome to the first ever battle of the YouTube puzzlers. So idea happened with Donna Louise challenging me to do speed puzzling competition with her. And once we arranged everything and found the puzzle that we can both get and started advertising it, other people saw that they can also get their hands on the same puzzle and ask if they can join in. So obviously we were like the more the merrier. So here we are today having the official battle of the youtube puzzlers and hopefully if this one goes well we are gonna keep doing them so like it never has to stop there can be the second and the third and the fourth as long as we can all get puzzles now i want to introduce you to everyone who's joined in this time so it's gonna be donna louise representing new zealand Juby representing Australia, Judy representing the United States and Victoria representing the United Kingdom. And obviously that's going to be me representing Slovenia. And I'm going to link all of the channels in the description box below so you can check them all out. Before moving on to the puzzle I just want to say a few important things. So the first one being please do not write each other's times in the comment section because we don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen all the videos yet. The second thing is important to everyone who managed to get their hands on cute dogs in the garden. So we made the form when you can put your details in and also put your time in and please don't lie about that because there's going to be no reward at the end, it's just for fun. But basically the entries are going to be open on the 28th of February and then in March we are basically going to make a post with all the results in. So anyone who joins in, just put your times in this form which is also going to be linked in the description box below and then in March we're going to see the results from every one all over the world so if you can get the puzzle please 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 join in it's gonna be so much fun and the last thing I wanted to say that all of the videos are gonna be linked between each other so no matter where you start if you just keep pressing the video at the end it's gonna link you to the next one and it's gonna make the whole round so you're gonna be able to see all of them so yeah I think it's finally time to move on to the puzzle I've been talking so much <laughs> Probably a lot of you already know, but it's a 500 piece puzzle by Ravensburger and the title of this one is Cute Dogs in the Garden. So as you can see the puzzle is still wrapped because this is also a part of the competition because that's how they do it. So to make this as close as possible for the competition for me, I try to avoid looking at it. Because when you go to the actual competition, I don't think you see the puzzle until the time actually starts. So I basically just saw it when I bought it and then when I recorded the puzzle haul and then also puzzle collection. Because yeah, I recorded puzzle collection a while back because it's a big video and there's gonna be a lot of editing and I just wanted to get it out of the way so I'm still editing it. So this is the fourth time for me seeing the picture and I tried really hard not to like dissect it and see how to put it together and what would be the best way. And now just a quick thought about me getting ready for this competition, right? Because when it was just me and Donna Louise, it was really simple and it was like, you know, all fun and stuff. But now when so many people joined in, I can feel I'm getting nervous. So yeah, that's why after doing the penguin puzzle one, which was my first ever speed puzzling, I decided and I did the dog one as well yesterday. And oh my god, this was so bad. Like before I thought I'm actually ready because my time with the penguins was like under an hour and a half. So when I did the penguin one, right, I was really confident in myself because I was like, yeah, I would qualify if I went to the actual competition. I did it under 90 minutes. And then yesterday I brought this other puzzle out and anything that could go wrong with this puzzle literally went wrong. Like, so the pieces were broken, then they were glued back together. Some of them were glued back together really badly, so like there would be two pieces stuck together and I couldn't even separate them. On some of them, the, you know, the cardboard thing was like glued on and it was just sticking out. The pieces didn't fit in properly, it was just a complete nightmare, honestly, like I have never gotten a puzzle this bad with exchange before and it took me two hours and seven minutes to finish it. So my puzzling mojo is completely destroyed after yesterday's puzzle and I have no idea what's gonna happen today but you know I'm sure it's gonna be easier than the one yesterday. Well at least what I hope. So I think there was enough talking and I'm gonna get myself ready to do speed puzzling and I'll see you on the other side. Wish me luck! <laughs> I still can't believe that we are actually doing the battle today because I still remember the day when Donna Louise messaged me for the first time that she wants to do collaboration and at the time I was really busy with work and I had so many things and YouTube was quite new to me so I didn't really know what I was doing and it took a while and then when finally I got a little bit more free time I was like okay I'm ready to do it and then I texted her back and I'm like I'm up for it now <laughs> so what's the situation? 
and then it just everything just happened so easy i don't even know how to explain like we were basically just coordinating how to get the puzzle and then i remember when we decided we are gonna do it and then we had to find a puzzle that we can both get and i remember it was in the morning for me i think it was like around 10 a.m and i didn't know what her time zone was at the time but she was up and we were literally just messaging she sent me links of the puzzles that she can get in new zealand and i was literally running around the shops and just taking pictures of what I can get. And then we actually found four puzzles that we can both get. And then one of them got immediately eliminated because it was portrait. And then the second one I think was eliminated because Donna Luis has already done it. And then we had two left. And both of us agreed on cute dogs in the garden because it was just prettier. But it's so strange to think that something so small has now become something completely different and a lot bigger. And I'm just loving it because I think the entire puzzle can community is so lovely and I'm so happy to be a part of it and I really do hope that you're gonna enjoy the battle as much as we do. Okay I cannot tell you how nerve-wracking this was like just in the beginning I got stuck with taking the wrap off which I do not understand how this even happened because every puzzle I buy I do it with my nail and I just go in in the side and just drag it down and with this one like it was so tight like the box was so tightly squeezed that i couldn't even get my nail in and even when i finally managed to get my nail in the cling film was so hard that i couldn't continue cutting it like i genuinely don't get what happened because i tried donna louise's method when you just you know press and i couldn't rip it apart so maybe it's specific to ravensburger i don't know because with other puzzles i never struggle opening them so yeah well, anyway, everything else was sort of okay, I guess. Um, I could see that I was quite nervous. I couldn't even find all of the frame pieces. So I got stuck there a little bit. And then I thought I'm going to start with the bike. Because in my head, fur was the hardest part. But there were so many bike pieces. And it was just it literally all over the puzzles. So I dropped the idea quite early on. And then I started with the colours that were like popping out to me more. I'm not gonna lie but this puzzle did scare me a little bit because it's quite chaotic and I think for speed puzzling it's better to have like a puzzle that has more specific sections but 1 hour 15 I think is quite a good time I have no idea what others have so I'm gonna have to go and check now and so do you so just watch this video up next bye